where they're coming from, this can be either a shirt or a jacket. Street and steel, uh, flannel, red flannel, which I love. And so I can actually compare the two. I'm telling you, one of my best friends over here in life is the UPS guy. Every time the UPS driver, every time he comes over, like buddies, he sees me two, three times a, a day where he comes to bring all the stuff. And I'm telling you, this YouTube channel, this YouTube channel of mine is like the duck, the golden duck or the duck that doesn't stop giving golden eggs. And I'm telling you, I keep getting more and more emails and people reaching out. And every time is a new gift. I'm so grateful and thankful. So I just got this and I'm going to open it up, unbox it, unbox. There's no box. I'm going to rip it open and tell you the story behind this. It's kind of a uh, kind of interesting story, but let me just open it up. Then I'll show you. Then I'll tell you the story. Wow. Look, look at this little backpack that I got. So you guys know where this is going. Oh, nice. And I got a size, size large. Hopefully it's my size. So this is, this is the story. Somebody reaches out to me and it's actually somebody I know. It's a friend of my friend that reaches out and we start talking. He came across, he came across my uh, channel. He recognized me and everything. And then he called, he gives me like, uh, we, we talk on the phone and he's like, uh, we get into a conversation, you know, bringing up things from the past and then tells me the story that it, uh, you know, during COVID his job, he, he was laid off for a while. I felt that on myself, everybody in COVID that was, that was like affected had to reinvent themselves. So like he lost, he's, he lost income for quite a long time. And he just had to figure out what to do. And this dude is like very smart, uh, innovative and creative. And as a hobby, he, he, he does longboard and like extreme sport and stuff like that. And through his connections and his friends, he came up with a great idea to start manufacturing and designing clothing for extreme sports, for skating, uh, longboards, e-bikes and stuff like that. And he came up with quite a few designs, pretty cool designs, partnered up with another uh, one or two guys and built a website and started manufacturing. And what they do is they do these great, great riding gear, specifically with uh, protective, uh, you know, fabrics, Kevlar, and active, you know, padding and stuff like that. And they did something like, how do you compete in that kind of an environment? Cause there are a lot of companies out there. Uh, one way of doing it is like dropping your price and then margins are really low, or you can, you know, be within the same price range, but give a lot, a lot of added value within the same price range. And when I spoke to him, he told me this is, this is where he was going. He really wanted me to try out his, his product for what he was showing me. Cause we like did a zoom call and he showed me he had some of the items in his house. It looked really, really promising. So let me show you. He promised, and I really hope I'm not going to be disappointed. He promised Lee, you're a really, really fine product and you're going to love it as well. Nice, nice flannel with buttons, spare buttons. What do you got here? Not your typical riding shirt. A rugged shirt made with aramid fiber lining. Certified protects, protects you while keeping cool. Now you'll love cruising in style. Fiber lining. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, this, he told me about this. He's got a little uh, fabric uh, to clean your glasses, sunglasses inside. Told me about these loops, these loops, two loops to connect to your jeans or to your, so it doesn't ride up, you know, it doesn't rise. 
And what he told me, and I can actually see right now, it's like what he dif- uh, what he's different. Um, he said what they're uh, good at and what they are different than their competition is the is how they are very very uh, into this this fine details of all the little things and quirks. The Kevlar fabric is covered all away, like the whole shirt completely from each side, like all the way down to the sleeves is the Kevlar fabric, whereas the competition they only have in certain areas, impact zones. Uh, he has, as you notice, everywhere there's zippers, uh, even on the cuffs, there's zippers right here. There's zippers in the armpit uh, area to let, uh, you know, to vent, to get some air out. There is mesh lining all around. There are inserts for, you know, the, uh, the protective, uh, what do you call this, protective elements. Also, he said, I'll, again, I'll do this whole big review later on. Even uh, places where you pr- put uh, the elbow, the elbow protection, there are like a few different settings or uh, pockets where you can, you know, locate the guard in the right position according to the length of your arm. Same thing with the shoulder. There are a few spots where you can, you know, position the shoulder pads properly. So a lot of, a lot of versatility. It is designed in California. It's a California company. And from what I see right now, it looks really, really nice. Let me put it on. And as a matter of fact, I do have also uh, a previous uh, model from like I bought at Cycle Gear, I think. Uh, so we'll be able to compare. Okay, guys, I'm sorry that I sound kind of jerky and all over the place, but I'm kind of really excited because I just spoke with the guy and I told him that I got the package and he said that he sent me, uh, this is, you can buy two levels of protection. You can see it on the website. I think it's, uh, not, I think I'll put a link where it is and you can buy two different uh, types of protection. You can also wear it without any protections. Just be, be aware of the Kevlar lining it like that's the abrasion resistance that that keeps you that keeps all the road rash away but if you want some active in case you fall like to all the the impact zones they have two levels of protection level one and level two he sent me the level two which is the better one these i got like elbow shoulder and bra- and back protection i actually have uh, my own street and steel uh flannel red flannel which i love and so i can actually compare the two I don't remember how much I paid for this one. I think $90, $100, something like that. I don't know, maybe $100. And this one has absolutely no flat, uh, no uh, Kevlar on them. And so anyway, it's going to be an exciting comparison, exciting review. So, okay, they also sent me like a neck warmer by Ride Beyond Boundaries, Beyond Riders. And of course, obviously, the little uh, sling bag where you're done with your riding, you, it's too warm or whatever, you just put it inside and throw it in your bag. Four stickers. Let's put the pads in. As I was told, there's a lot of Velcros over here. A lot of Velcro so you can choose the height of where your elbow sits. Let me go to Grey Ghost and uh, see if the color, if there's a perfect color match between this flannel and Grey Ghost. Gunship Gray. So what do you guys say? Is there a good color match? Does my Beyond Riders jacket flannel go well? Nice color match, I think. I'm happy with the color match. It feels really good. So to me, it's obvious if you have if you have a 2022 uh, Gunship Gray bike, you gotta get this. Look at the color match. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm taking the bike out. Henry, Henry from Beyond Riders, I'd like to thank you so much. Thank you for reaching out and I'm loving it already. But let me let me take the bike out. So let me start with the street and steel. Uh, the reason I chose this is because I simply have this jacket, this flannel, this shirt. Uh, as you see, one, one pocket on the left, nothing on the right. Okay, so the Beyond Riders shirt, jacket, flannel jacket. These are the colors, as you see. Two 
pockets from the outside with snap-on buttons, cuffs, two buttons, open it up, and it's open. That's the design, same thing on the other side. The cuffs, two, two buttons, two uh, button options, and a zipper. And when the zipper is open, there's also fabric over here covering, so there's no cold air coming in. Like little buttons that are uh, tic-tac, like, I don't know, they snap on, snap off. Zipper all the way down. Okay, collar. They have uh, little snap-on buttons on the side. This is what it looks like from the back. Okay. On the right, same thing. On back. Side. Buttons, snap buttons, zipper. I said a collar also with uh, snap buttons. Inside, there's, uh, there's no pockets inside. No pockets. Inside, there are four pockets. Two pockets, one sideways, and one from the top, zippered, and they are waterproof. Same thing other side, zippered. They do have side pockets, like outer uh, side pockets for your hands. There's no outer pockets. The shirt jacket itself, uh, I've shown you before already, has two loops to hold on to your uh, either belt or loops over here, so it doesn't rise while you're riding. There is very, uh, there's Kevlar, which is uh, the protective, you know, fabric that is uh, per uh, impact zone. So it's only on the shoulders, only on the uh, elbow area. There's pockets over here, two pockets, like pocket for the uh, guard, for the elbow guard. And it's like one, one place you put it in, that's, that's where it sits. Same thing with the shoulder, there's no adjustability. There is a a pocket for the back uh, guard. There did not come with the back guard. I bought my own. The loops to hold on like before to your belt or to the, you know, the loop. They have over here a little piece of fabric. That's pretty much uh, a lot of uh, attention to details. Little piece of fabric so you can clean your glasses. And as you see over here, there's Kevlar lined on the whole area inside as i've seen as i've said before uh kevlar there's kevlar kevlar fabric lining on the full uh, jacket as you can see everywhere shoulder guard shoulder pad with a few different options how to place them i've shown you before same thing with the elbow guards back back guard sorry it says it says designed in california additionally if it's too hot outside you have zippers this is the longest zipper out there 12 inch as opposed to the competition different competition that are only eight inches so let air in right over here so from what i see it's a really really well designed a lot of attention to details that's a string bag it comes with i've shown that before already You get a lot for your buck, let's put it that way. And uh, head over to beyondriders.com and get a $10 discount, actually, when you type in uh, my code. Use code HOLYSHIFT, you get a, 10, a $10 uh, discount. And it, it pretty much it seems like I'm trying to push this, uh, this uh, product. Well, I'll tell you the truth, yes, I am, actually. Uh, for two reasons. One, I believe in this product. It's really, really good. And two, I'd get a little commission whenever I sell one of these. Nah, but just kidding. It's really, really, as you can see probably yourself from, uh, you know, comparing the two, you know, two flannels. Not that I'm uh, bashing this, God forbid, this, I, I love this one and I used it a lot. But this one is really, really, 
really, really high quality. So, oops, how did I even forget? I forgot to show you the, they sent me another little gift. Not sure if you get it as part of uh, the package when you buy the flannel, but nice little uh, neck warmer. Let me put it on. There you go. How about that? That's it. That's it, guys. Hope you like this. I, I'm really impressed with the, the item, the product. The only thing, the only negative thing that I can say about the item, and I, and I told this to Henry, is I personally uh, like outer pockets, okay? And I understand where they're coming from. This can be either a shirt or a jacket. If, if it's a shirt, you don't have pockets in a shirt, right? Side pockets. But if it's a jacket, if you consider it as a jacket, then yeah, you want to have uh, side pockets. So I spoke with a guy from uh, Beyond Riders, and he said, yes, actually, they redesigned all their models, and all the women, the women clothing already have side pockets. And uh, the very, very near future, these jackets, these flannels, are going to have side, side pockets as well. So I really, really uh, can speak highly of this, of this uh, flannel. I just went to pick up the bike. I had it, uh, I had it serviced. I just took, uh, just, just took my new flannel. It's... Yeah, I just came. I just came with this. Uh, I rode all the way back from home. It's like an hour, an hour and a half away, and it's like 35 degrees. Don't know how much it. 40? 40, 40, 40 degrees. And you would think, you know, a flannel. Uh, you'd be cold, but I did have my heated gear. But the, what's nice about it, look, it's got like the Kevlar, Kevlar lining all the way through. With the flannel, it's like pretty much, it yeah, breaks now. It breaks yeah. the wind, it's unbelievable. And I wasn't cold. Uh, the heated gear helped, but this uh, literally did the job. Look, look at the fine details even. Like usually uh, you have uh, buttons over here and air comes through. So here it's like buttons and a zipper and Oh, beyond the zipper, there's actually, you know, another lining. So, you like, air doesn't come in through. So, it's, it really kept me nice and, nice and warm. Really nice. Not only that, Thanks. it looks good. That's it, guys. Hope you liked this little uh, review and comparison. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Bye.